Jason McCartney had played 181 AFL games for Collingwood, Adelaide and the Kangaroos when he headed to Bali for a well-earned post-season holiday in October of 2002. In one horrific instant, his life was in the balance as the bar in which he was relaxing was blown apart by the infamous Bali bombing terrorist attack. 202 people were killed, including 88 Australians. McCartney suffering severe second degree burns to more than 50% of his body. Despite his injuries, he focused on assisting others around him. McCartney's condition rapidly deteriorating to the point where he almost lost his life whilst undergoing surgery. He set himself two goals, to marry his fiancee Nerissa and to get back to play AFL football, a task the medicos thought impossible. He eventually returned to full training wearing heavy bandages and gloves to protect his delicate skin. And by round 11 of 2003, he was ready for his return. It was an unforgettable night. Inspired by bomb victims and their families in the crowd, McCartney marked and goaled with the game in the balance in the final quarter. He then set up the winning goal, his beloved Kangaroos home by three points. McCartney then stunned the football world by announcing his immediate retirement. I find it fitting now that I'll uh, hang the boots up as of tonight and go out on a great note. Because I'm spent, it's been a tough time, but that's enough for me, mate. Because he, he was a somebody in a, in a horrible world, he actually became, I don't know, a figure of the bomb and, and about fighting back and, and, and surviving and moving on. It was just such an uplifting thing, not just for the families of those victims, but for we who are watching it and thinking to those bombers who tried to send a message, Jason McCartney sent a message back to you and stuff you. It was more than a footy moment, it was like an Australian life event or Australian sporting life event, if that makes sense. It was, it was an amazing night.